All scripture is what in your version? God, God read. I have, I have it inspired. That's what most of them say. Shame on somebody. The Greek word that is there is theonoustos. It literally means God read. And for some reason, inspired, I don't know why. This is, this is one of the issues. I, I'm going to tell you, there are so many tools. At least have a concordance in your life. Translations are, are in effect prophetic because somebody is handling God's word. Mm, that's right. Yeah. And they are responsible to handle when this is what God says to the, about the false prophets. God tells you to go say this, and you say, Well, no, I'd rather say this, or I think it would be better to say this. You're not being faith, faithful in the ministry that He's called you to. To be faithful to the the Bible is without error in the original language. Okay? That's either typically either or Hebrew in the Old Testament and Greek in the New Testament. There's a little Aramaic in the, in the Old. You know what doesn't make sense is the fact that they do the footnotes, that they have the footnotes, and they have the God breathes there. Why don't they put it in? I could. I, I, <laughs> Alice, I absolutely could not tell you. She's talking sense. about she's using a New American Standard. I think yeah. the 77 version of the New American Standard. Yeah. And oftentimes they will put a, a footnote on the side saying literally it means this. Right. Well, if literally it means that, why don't you put that exactly. in there? Yeah. I, I, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, I, I speak to all of the Bible translators out there who are mm -hmm. listening to this. <laughs> all of you. Don't interpret for me. Right. Tell me what God said. Not what you think he should have said. What you would have preferred him to say. Just tell me what he said. And it won't be too complicated. Well, maybe it could be complicated for me, but it's, I promise you it's not too complicated for the Holy Spirit. That's right. And he's the one who was sent to, to give me understanding, to give me wisdom. Is so me and the Holy Spirit, will figure it out. Yes. We could sit here for hours yes. and talk about the changes that have been made in Scripture um, that, that make no sense whatsoever. If you understand... That God is so sensitive about when he gives somebody his word to speak. That's what he expects them to speak. Now, I understand the issues of translation. And, and I think I've shared this just recently. That there, there's a really good book. It's called The Word of God in English by uh, Leland Riken. And it's worth looking at. It's, it's a bit scholarly, it's a, but it's, it's easy enough to read. And he talks about this whole issue because there are so many translations out there today and so many of those translations make no attempt to hold to the, to the literacy of what God said because it may be too difficult to understand. Well, did you ever read that Jesus Christ spoke to the people in parables yes. and the, the disciples said to him, why are you speaking to them in parables? They don't understand it. And he said it wasn't given to them to understand. That's right. It's not your job to outthink God. Right. It's nobody's job to outthink God. Okay? Amen. So, if you check, at least check different translations. There's so many good tools. I mean, I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm looking at, I, I will tell you, I, I use an electronic version of the Bible called uh, eSword, which is available for free. Mm -hmm. I've been using it for years. Phenomenal tool. Mm -hmm. And you can get all kinds of different translations of the Bible. Well, compare them. Right. And then look at the Hebrew. Look at the Greek. You're, you are intelligent enough. You are. God will give you understanding. But there are so many changes in the translations that it's a little scary to me in this day and age. Okay? And didn't he say, those who diligently seek me will find me? Absolutely. And he will reward those who diligently seek him. You know, it all boils down to how seriously do you take God's word? How much are you willing to invest in finding the truth? You know, or are, have you been so conditioned 
by that one-eyed cyclops and demon that dominates so many rooms called the television that you just expect to be able to throw a button and have it all flood into you and somebody does all of the work. You know what? Paul wrote to Timothy and said, study to show yourself approved unto God. You need to, you need to make a commitment to go and spend time in the Word, to diligently seek the truth in God's Word. As soon as you do, I promise you, He will give you revelation. He will give you understanding. He will give you wisdom. Does any of you lack wisdom? Let him ask of God who gives freely to all men. Mark mentioned, I mean, there are so many different, and they seem like little changes. Does a little change matter? You absolutely had better believe every change matters because God is careful about His Word. So we need to not be careless about His Word. Amen. He has purpose. His words are life-giving. That's the point of spirit breathe. Right. All scripture is spirit breathe. How did he bring life to Adam? He breathed life into him. And that word breath is, is the same word as spirit in the Hebrew, or ruach. Yes, a comfort to my soul. Your word. Is the truth that sets me free. Your word is a light into my path. Your word is a lamp into my feet. Help me hide.